Dr. Miller. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Frank. Uh, as Frank said, I was associated with the International Agency for Research on Cancer that recommended the world or the World Health Organization list all radiofrequency radiation, that is the radiation that powers cell phones and Wi-Fi, including Wi-Fi, as a possible carcinogen. The classification was officially designated as 2B. 2B is a list of possible carcinogens that also includes lead and DDT. That was back in 2011. This classification was based on the epidemiology and uh, other evidence that was available then. But since then, a lot has changed. New science has emerged, both human and animal. Human, by new analyses of some of the studies that were performed before, including the Canadian participation in what was called Interphone. New updated analyses of the studies in Sweden, Sweden being one of the first countries to introduce cell phones and therefore having people with the longest exposure and they have demonstrated that the longer exposure the greater the risk. But equally important there have been two very large animal carcinogenicity studies. Now we learnt more than 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I was involved in some of this in Canada that we should not allow companies to introduce new chemicals without them first being tested for the possibility of carcinogenicity. There is every reason why such a requirement should be placed on companies that propose to introduce new radiation which will expose all of us. The two studies that have been conducted in the last uh, 10 years, but it reported only last year's, were won by the National Toxicology Program in the United States, a very large animal study, and another by this prestigious Ramazzini Institute in Italy. And both of them showed that prolonged exposure to radiofrequency radiation increases the risk of cancer. And indeed, they also showed that the cancers are similar to some of the cancers that are being observed in humans and they showed that this sort of radiation increases the damage to our DNA and if our DNA is damaged then our risk of cancer increases substantially. Many scientists including myself now believe that the evidence is such that if IARC the International Agency for Research on Cancer, were to reevaluate radiofrequency radiation, it would be placed in class one, i.e. a human carcinogen. And governments could not possibly ignore that. In fact, fortunately for us, the, an advisory committee of the International Agency for Research on Cancer has recommended that radiofrequency radiation be re-evaluated with high priority. So we're hoping this will occur very shortly. In the meantime, we all must take care. We all must recognize that we are being exposed to radiofrequency radiation. We must do our best through our MPPs, through our discussions with the municipality to prevent the introduction of 5G, which will only make matters worse. Thank you.